What are you drawing? A liger. What's a liger? It's pretty much my favorite animal. It's like a lion and a tiger mixed. Redford's skills and magic. I've always thought that this was just a clever joke from Napoleon Dynamite. Never for the life of me would I have thought that ligers actually fucking existed, or that they are indeed literal crosses between lions and tigers. And I also wanted to guess that these are not the only strange animal crosses in the world. The world is full of these freaks of nature. There is like the aforementioned ligers, which is like lion and tiger. There is buffalo and cow hybrids. There's zebra and other horse relative hybrids. And there's even hybrids between donkeys and horses. You know, I've always wondered what a mule was. I've heard about them plenty of times, but I always wonder, what the fuck is a mule? It was only recently that I discovered that they're, as a matter of fact, hybrids between donkeys and horses. The more you know, right? I always found hybrid animals really fascinating because their parent species are closely related enough that they can produce offspring, which could lead to a new species, which is always an intriguing prospect. Only... The hybrids between the two parent species are, for whatever reason, are always born sterile, which kind of sucks. Lions and tigers, for example, have lived on two different continents for millions of years. They've grown too far apart and they're too distantly related to produce fertile offspring. And besides, since they do live on two different continents, they would never even meet and have offspring to begin with. I mean, it's only really thanks to us that most of these hybridizations can even occur at all. Most of it happens in captivity and with species that would never have even met in the wild. So because of this and because of some complex rules in biology, all of these hybrid animals that occur in captivity are all sterile. However, there are a few notable exceptions where hybridization does occur in the wild. And these are the most interesting cases. There are plenty of cases where hybridization does occur in the wild, and not only does it occur in the wild, but the hybrids are actually fertile. And there's also a few cases here and there where hybrids become their own species. There's actually a... they actually discovered a dolphin species called the Clymen dolphin, I think it was? that was actually originated from hybrids of two other dolphin species. So these two dolphin species created these hybrids, and these hybrids became their own brand new species. And speaking of dolphin hybrids, there was actually a hybrid in Hawaii between a false killer whale and a bottlenose dolphin. And it's also been proven fertile. So while there are definitely cases where hybridization does occur naturally, most of the hybrids in the world are freaks of nature that only exist thanks to us. And you know, I've actually heard plenty of people argue that it's wrong to be breeding these hybrids. And well, I don't particularly see the harm. I mean, they're sterile, they can't pass on their genes, and they're in captivity to top it all off, so they're no threat to anything, like the parent species least of all. I would say it's wrong because of the welfare of the animals themselves. Apparently, a lot of these hybrids are born with defects and health problems. They may not live a good life because they're imperfect crosses of very distinct species. I mean, there are plenty of kinds of hybrids, like mules for example, that aren't born with any medical problems or defects at birth. I mean, their only real medical problem is that they're born sterile. I mean, as long as the animal's welfare is well looked after, then I say there's nothing really that really wrong with breeding hybrids. It's, it's just kind of pointless. They're just cool attractions bred for the purpose of milking more money out of tourists. And well, I guess you could say that that, that is kind of wrong, but this is a very morally gray area and there really is no right or wrong answer. So, what do you guys think? Is it okay to be breeding these hybrids? Like, should we be doing it at all? And just for the hell of it, 
why don't you list your top five animal hybrids in the comments section? Because there's a lot out there, and all of them are pretty fucking awesome. If you agree or disagree with this video, be sure to discuss in the comments section, and if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also be sure to check out my blog at the Critical Canucks at blogspot.ca, and also be sure to follow us on Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, all that jazz. Links to all those are in the description below. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll be seeing you next time. Peace out, everybody.